My name's Hetem Patel. I'm an artist, and I'm also the director of this film, Don't Look at the Finger. So this film starts with our protagonist, um, a man and a woman who are about to get married, uh, an African couple. And it's set up as an arranged marriage, so they haven't met before. And once we arrive in the church, we realize that the, the couple, maybe even some of the family members, are deaf. There's the very physical signed vows, which makes promises to each other. And then they come together to start another part of the ceremony, which looks and feels a bit like the ritualistic part of their signing their vows, but then becomes more physical. And this gestural behavior between them breaks out into a fight. This is them going full out. This is them physically speaking at their top volume in the way that they can express themselves. So it's almost like going towards the truth of who they are, of their bodies, that they can only do in relation to one another. Both signed languages and kung fu martial arts are really important in this work. And for me, that stems from my always looking for ways for the body to communicate more, both linguistically, but also something beyond language. Like a lot of my work, it starts uh, autobiographically. So I'm interested in looking at uh, how you might connect minority cultures or cultures that might have been marginalized with something that is uh, big in pop culture and recognizable, um, such as Hollywood. When I used to watch films as a kid on TV, you know, Hollywood all, was always the es place for escapism. Culturally, it was something that was a connection point between me and all the other kids at school. You know, when I grew up, I was the only uh, brown guy in the class sort of thing, but we still had the same connection to the, the, these things at the movies. They were to do with identity, or they were to do with being a man, or they were to do with love, or whatever they were. So it felt like Hollywood was this um, kind of pop culture connection point that I could share with all the other kids at school. So the themes in the work are about identity, about freedom, about equality. I'm interested in how it feels to make an assumption about something or someone and then have that upturned. You know, I always enjoy when it happens to me. You know, even just looking at the Afro-Caribbean cast in the film, kind of assumptions we might make about blackness or Africanness or whatever it might be. I'm not planning to subtitle the film, so I'm aware that a deaf audience will have more access to that language than a hearing audience or an audience that doesn't understand those languages. Because, you know, the deaf audience also don't have access to, let's say, the music soundtrack or the sound foley. And so I'm interested in, um, A, that different people will have access to different parts of the film, but also the parts that you don't have access to, there's plenty of other signifiers for you to try to understand what's going on. I, I want an audience to, uh, let's say if it's a hearing audience, to come towards the film, to try to figure something out. The predecessor to this film is called The Jump. It's a, an Indian family, it's actually my family, filmed at my grandmother's house and it connects again to Hollywood through almost restaging the scene from a Spider-Man film. It's kind of long, slow motion Spider-Man jump with this intricate costume that I've made. And we're going to have these films uh, installed in the same spaces together. And, and I like the idea of putting that seed into someone's mind of what would the bigger film look like that would have these two scenes in it. Uh, and I, I'm certainly excited by that. And ultimately, that's what I want to do. I want to make a feature film that would contain these elements.